such a time they had of it, members of the Mombasa Republican Council, minutes after the High Court lifted a ban on the organization. The courtroom was overflowing with expectant residents eager to know the fate of the group. The crowds spilled outside the corridors and the lawns. After two years since they filed the application, members of the MRC, much criticized for its secessionist ideology, heaved a collective sigh of relief. The judges ordered the government to revoke the Gazette notice that had declared MRC and more than 30 other entities illegal in March 2010. They however urged the group to register as a political party so as to pursue its agenda through legal means. Secession can only be achieved by far-reaching amendments to the Constitution. All Kenyans will have to decide by referendum under Article 255 of the Constitution. Any secession must be freely given by all Kenyans. It cannot be forced on them. The court has however been categorical that the ruling by no means allows the MRC to engage in any legal activities and that should they do so, then the law will catch up with them. Mixed reactions greeted the ruling with the members elated, hopeful that this was a silver lining through which to pursue their agenda. Others, however, opine that the MRC should desist from negative activities such as urging people not to participate in the next general elections. Several members of parliament also opposed the ruling. They say it will open a can of worms as other illegal groups will also demand the same status. They argue that lifting the ban on MRC does not serve the public good and is a threat to security. What good does it serve to have MRC registered, Mungiki registered? For news at 8, I am Andrew Ochiang.